All right, so this Knife Thoughts video is going to be a review of this knife, the Axial Gear Shift, and also an introduction to Axial Gear as a company. So if you're a fan of high quality American made knives, particularly out the front knives at value driven prices, or are just interested in a new company bringing knives to the market, then this might be a great video for you. But first, let's take a close up look at the knife itself. So what is Axial Gear? Well, Axial Gear is a new company started by two brothers in Utah. And I heard about Axial Gear because I saw an ad for them on Instagram. And if you're like me, you probably spend a lot of time looking at knives on Instagram and places like that. And I see, you know, ads for knives and knife companies every now and then, but to be honest, they're really not very effective usually. They, you know, are either knives I'm already aware of or don't really tell me anything new about the company or the knife. But theirs was, you know, kind of tongue in cheek and kind of funny. And so I went over to their profile on Instagram and they didn't have a whole lot of followers followers, the profile looked pretty new. So I saw that they were making these really interesting looking knives and then that they were American made. And so I sent them, you know, some, some questions into their DMs and they were extremely helpful, answered all my questions and actually offered to send uh, a knife for feedback. So started out with really, you know, kind of a good experience looking into them. And that's how I found out about them. But uh, like I said, it's two brothers and, and I appreciate that because I do work with my brother in my normal job and I think it's a good thing for the industry to have more family businesses. But their goal is to bring high quality American made knives to the market at value driven prices. So in particular, their first two knives are out the front knives. This is the shift, they also have the dart. And for them, if you're familiar with out the front knives, you're probably aware that there's kind of like a, a gap in the market. So uh, on the lower end, $50 and below, there are kind of the cheaper knives that are, you know, maybe not up to your standards, uh, something like that. Not that they're always terrible knives, but not kind of the high end type knives. And then it goes all the way up to $250 plus, usually more like 300 plus for the really high end, well-made, American made, particularly type out the front knives. So they identified that there is a gap in the market and want to fill that gap. And so this knife, the shift in S35VN, which is the model I have here, is going to end up being just under $200. It's actually less now, it's on sale. Uh, but the CPM 20 CV version will be just over $200. So right in the middle of that gap. And um, they do have other knives in the works. In particular, they have a Warren Cliff uh, out the front knife, and then they have plans for um, a side opening automatic knife, a manual folding knife, a balisong, and a fixed blade. Uh, and then these knives are made in the USA. They're currently made by OEMs, primarily local in Utah, but the blades are made by a you know another or widely used. OEM and they couldn't share who their OEMs were. They said it's part of how they can bring these knives to the market for such great prices. Um, but they, you know, did say that they're all, you know, made in the USA and actually put together, you know, to order. So um, that's who Axial Gear is. And it's a company that, that I was honestly pretty excited to get to check out. So when I got this knife, I was really excited and I did do an unboxing, which you can check out on my channel. But the first thing I was really impressed by the packaging. So it has a nice embossed sketch of the knife on the front here and then the Axial logo, which I like also. It has kind of an A and an X and then reminds me of the apexes of an edge of a knife and then Axial on the side. And that's a sleeve, so you can pull that off. Again, Axial there and it is a magnetic opening box then on the inside it has this really cool thing here so first of all just some info again talking about the lifetime warranty um, and you know lifetime sharpening things like that 
but on this other side here, it's a checklist, a quality control checklist. So I think that's a really nice touch when you're buying a high-end knife like this, you know, over $150. You're not just buying the knife, you're also buying the quality control and the experience of getting and opening the knife. So I did like that WB is one of the brothers. The other, uh, the brother I've spoken with is Colby. Um, but, and the date that it was quality control checked. And then a little bit more info here. And again, that's CB, the other brother. So you can see that. And then some info about the knife. And I said about the Warncliffe, upcoming Warncliffe, it looks like this is a sketch of that knife. This is a user care, care manual here. Replacement parts, again, warranty, blade replacement, lifetime sharpening, and just some info here on the knife. Um, one interesting thing that I did ask about is that currently, and they said, you know, if people abuse it, then they might have to change it. But currently, disassembly does not void the warranty, unlike some other companies. So that's something to be aware of with these. And then it also came inside a nice kind of felt pouch and then a plastic pouch. And the cool thing here is it is sealed with tape. So again, it kind of makes the opening of the knife an experience, which I really do think is, you know, part of what you're paying for when you buy a high-end knife like this is, you know, both the quality control that you can see in the packaging here and the actual experience of opening and, and getting and being excited about the knife. So I really was impressed by the packaging uh, from Axial. Moving on to the knife itself, the first thing that I noticed about the knife was that the handle has this really cool kind of minimalistic and futuristic type look to it with nice, simple, clean lines all across the board here and really not too much billboarding or, you know, logos and things like that. So really cool looking. It does have that Axial logo there, then an American flag here and the Axial logo again on the clip. But because it has this nice simple shape to it, it's also really ergonomic. You know if you watch my channel that I like a simple shaped handle because a simple shaped handle generally will be a comfortable handle. And I have definitely found that to be the case. I've used this knife a good bit, different types of use, and it has been comfortable in all different types of use, cutting cardboard, food prep, um, you know, in the garden and in the yard, things like that. It has been ergonomic in all of that. So really no complaints there. One thing that I like is that these kind of jimpings are recessed rather than sticking out like most jimping. Again, an example there. And then an example on this, they're recessed. So it does give some grip, but it keeps that nice clean look to it. Um, the anodization is really nice. It is hard anodized on the aluminum handles here. And then the clip has a PVD coating. They've both held up pretty well. You can see that I did get a little bit of scuffing here on the handles from use but um, pretty well done it has a nice matte feel to it not super super rough but a little bit of a matte feel so that you can get grip and i have used this with wet hands things like that no problem there as well as with gloves on no problem there either um, so with the clip one thing i wanted to mention is it doesn't sit super deep and it almost seems like it could go, you know, sit deeper. They could have made this bent part a little higher up here. So that's one interesting thing. I'm not sure why that design choice, if you, you know, if a deep carry clip is a deal breaker for you, just be aware that it does, you know, sit maybe half an inch above the clip, you know, half an inch will sit above your pocket there. But I really do like the handle on this knife. So as I mentioned, the blade on mine is CPM S35VN, but they do also have uh, the option to have it in CPM 20CV. So both great steels. Um, I got this knife, it was super sharp when I got it, and it has held an edge well. I have sharpened it and it took an edge well also. So no complaints on the steel of the blade. Now it has a PVD coating, just like the clip but the coating on the blade has a stone wash. And one thing I did send in my feedback to Axial is that I think that that stone wash could be a little bit lighter so that it matched the coating in these 
machined areas here a little better. And they actually said that they plan to do that so that this will be a little bit darker here, the PVD coating. But then the flats are satin, which gives it a really cool, you know, two-toned look to, to the blade. And speaking of the, the look of the blade, it is a very, very classic clip point. So you can see that the clip starts here, comes down to a really nice point, and has some swedging on both sides of the spine there has a pretty good amount of straight edge and then a nice gradual belly so it's worked well for you know pretty much any use i've again done food prep you know cutting cardboard everything like that the blade has worked well so no complaints with the design of the blade now um the one thing i wanted to mention here is that these three milled areas they said that this is something that they want to keep across all of their knives as kind of a brand differentiator and i think that's a cool thing to have just something that differentiates you know shows you that it's an axial knife by a design feature like that so really cool blade um, and has been very practical also now to get to the part that i'm sure everybody has been waiting for the action of the knife so the action is really, really nice. Uh, that's another thing that hit me right out of the box when I got this is that it does not disappoint on the action. You can see it fires strong, both open and close, and it has that nice, really thwacky sound that, that a good out the front automatic knife has. And I wanna give you a little comparison here to a Microtech UTX-85. and then the axial. So I think really, really comparable in action on that and haven't had any issues with it. Now, um, I, I did get it pretty dusty and dirty using it at one point and uh, tried some mineral oil in it. It was not the right call. They do suggest REM oil, which it says in the thing, uh, the, the literature that comes with the knife. And they actually also offer a specific oil uh, on their site for out the front knives. But uh, after some WD-40, it was right back to like new firing, super hard, super fast, and cleaned out perfectly. So no issues there, easy to clean it back out and um, hasn't really you know changed as long as I have kept it clean. Now, out the front knives are always going to have some play here, both side to side and forward and back. I've never had like a $6,000, you know, Anthony and Marfione or whatever custom. So I don't know if those ones do, but even the three, four hundred, five hundred dollar ones do have both forward and back and side to side play. Um, this one definitely has some. Every now and then you will hear a little rattle when it's in your pocket. And I do think compared to uh, the Microtechs that have passed through my hands, there's probably a little bit more in the shift, but just ever so slightly. And it does vary from model to model in my experience on Microtech. So, uh, you know, I don't think it's that it's a big difference, maybe just slightly, slightly more than on a Microtech. But other than that, pretty much, you know, you, you, you're gonna be getting the same type of action on you know this axial shift as you would on you know something like a microtech something more expensive so really nice action again nice and snappy no issues now like most uh out the front knives it, it is a little harder to pull back than to push forward and a lot of people that are new to out the front knives worry about it opening in their pocket it's not really something you have to worry about if you see when i push this forward you have to push it all the way to here and then it actuates. So, you know, you would it would be strange circumstances for that to happen in your pocket. And then it is a little bit more difficult to disengage. In fact, um, I showed this knife to a lot of people and, and my wife and grandma could both get it to, you know, fire out, but had trouble um, getting it to pull back in. And generally people do, you know, kind of struggle to pull it back. But once you get used to it, it's really easy and it's no different than any other out the front. Um, same deal with Microtechs, pulling back is usually a little bit more difficult. So really snappy, nice action and uh, no complaints whatsoever. And to be honest, these out the front knives, they are just, you know, people talk about knives as fidget toys. This is about as good as it gets. It is just straight up fun. 
to fire this knife back and forth and it you know doesn't disappoint it goes every time and uh, is nice and fast so um, really really fun action on this knife real quick i wanted to show you some size comparisons now this knife is closest to a microtech ultratech if you're familiar with those but again here is a microtech utx 85 so the axial is bigger than that um, but not a whole whole lot and again it's closer to the ultratech but here is a benchmade full-size griptilian um, the griptilian is a little bigger certainly has a little bit more edge um, the handle is pretty similar in size there and then here is a spyderco native 5 classic edc knife you can see the, the native 5 is much smaller in length but pretty similar in tallness there so um it's a good size knife for sure it is not a small knife it is a good size for you know practical use for in my opinion and then another thing i wanted to mention here in case you haven't noticed this knife is put together with um regular torque screws and that is in contrast again to uh, something like a microtech which usually has proprietary screws so i mentioned earlier that currently and again they said that they could change it if they have to but currently disassembly does not uh, void the warranty it should be easier than on a microtech or that type of knife to disassemble this if you had to but i definitely wouldn't recommend it it's not something that i plan to do uh, i haven't needed to and i hope i don't need to but just be aware that it should be a little bit easier on this than on something like a microtech so in conclusion i have just really enjoyed getting to check out this axial gear shift um, i think it's a great knife it is you know intelligently designed and built with care has great materials and has just been really fun and also really useful to uh, get to you know collect my thoughts on and uh, i also think that that what axial gear is doing or what their their goals are is is good for the industry so I think people deserve to be able to get this type of knife, a high quality American made knife at a really value driven price. Um, I think that it's something that helps the industry overall. It will help um, push innovation and uh, make it so that people can get the best knives that they can for their money. And I really appreciate that. My general price range, I can't you know, justify buying those three, four, five hundred dollar out the front knives. but this is definitely closer to where I feel comfortable paying for a knife. So I, I think that it is a good thing for the industry and I'm really looking forward to what they bring in the future, uh, particularly, you know, their Balasong and uh, manual folding knives. Uh, I'm really looking forward to, to what they bring out in that realm. So uh, a, a big thank you to Axial Gear for sending this knife along for feedback and review. And uh, if you are interested in and enjoy high quality American made out the front knives, I don't hesitate at all to recommend the Axial Gear Shift. I think it's a great knife and I think particularly now at $180, you really can't beat it value wise. And even at $200, I think you can't beat it value wise. So if this is a knife that you'd like to get for yourself, make sure you use my um, affiliate link in the description. And you can also use the code knife thoughts to get 10% off and get, you know, it at an even better deal. So I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I have enjoyed getting to check this knife out. And uh, I think that Axial Gear is, as long as they stay on the path that they're on right now, bound for great things in the industry. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this Knife Thoughts video on the Axial Gear Shift. If you have, make sure you give the video a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you know when I post new videos. I do have lots of other videos coming soon as well as on other Axial Gear knives. Also, make sure you check out my social media. I'm on Instagram and Facebook at Knife Thoughts and my website, knifethoughts.com, where I post articles about knives like this and knife-related topics. And last but not least, as always, make sure to go out and do good.